I just love the way the sunlight comes into the room like that in the morning and like hits all the plants. I think it's so pretty seeing it on their leaves. Lately, I've been more anxious than usual to the point where I logged off Instagram for a couple of weeks just so things can be a bit more quiet. I notice when my, my mind is messy, my habitat seems to follow. My wardrobe's gotten a little bit out of control. So today I'm going to make myself a nice cup of tea and I'm going to make some breakfast and after I get my work done, I'm going to dive straight into that wardrobe and I'm going to reorganize it and make it all neat and nice, both myself and Mitch's clothes. Okay, so it's a walkthrough wardrobe, don't laugh, you'll probably see my bathroom through the background there a couple of times while I'm filming this. So I know it's not crazy bad, but it's just more messy than I would like it. And at the moment, his clothes are all mixed in with my clothes in the hanging section. I've got bare coat hangers in there, which I like to move to the laundry so I can put fresh clothes on when they are done. Um, the shoes have become Mitch's dumping ground. <laughs> And I have some containers that I want to fill with some summer clothes. I also just want to neaten things up and take out anything that doesn't belong in there. So there, Mitch's socks, underwear kind of draw his shirts and his pants. And then these ones are my baskets, but I've just thrown things in there that don't belong in there. Like when I put two jumpers in my basket, it ends up being full. This side of the cupboard has also gotten a little bit messy because we don't really have any kind of structure for it. So I'm gonna put that structure there. Firstly, I'm going to take out the items that don't belong. So when we first moved in, I just put some of my camera gear in the cupboard, but now I do have a proper place for that to go. So I'm just going to move these things out of the way. And the reusable shopping bags need to be tidied up as well. This house doesn't really have very much storage at all. My favorite way to declutter or reorganize an area is just to empty out everything and start from scratch. These are the storage containers that I bought. I used to use vacuum sealed bags, but I haven't had them since I lived in Brisbane. Um, so I'm just gonna use these little containers. Anything that is summer and that we're probably not gonna wear, I'm gonna put in those so that they're still accessible and I can easily open them if I need to. I really like to use the one in one out rule when it comes to clothing. Over the last year or so, I've sort of been migrating my style to softer neutrals. Everything used to just be black or white, but now because I buy a lot of linens, a lot of them come in natural fibers, so I'm including a bit of that natural and some browns now as well. I believe this is the Marie Kondo style of folding where you fold things and then stack them vertically so you can easily distinguish what's what. This is all my active way to see in the one drawer and that way I can easily see what I have when I need to get something out. Sometimes I feel like when we're not in a spot where we feel like looking after ourselves, it tends to transfer to our environment as well. And sometimes when we fix the environment, it makes it easier to look after ourselves again. I'm just folding up my t-shirts now, so I'm standing the basket on the end so it's easier to stack them like this. And yes, that's all my t-shirts except for the couple that are hanging on hangers. Look at Mitch's pile. Dear Lord.
if you didn't think I was a control freak before, you may think it now because I'm about to color coordinate our wardrobe and <laughs> make sure that all the colors are sitting together. And I tell you what, investing in good quality hangers is so worth it. I've had these ones for five years now. They've got nice little non-slip sections on the side. They're really sturdy. I'm just going to take the ones which are empty and I'm going to move them into the laundry so clean clothes I can put straight on there in the laundry. Okay, this section is looking so much better already. This is one of those things that was bugging me for so long because we have to walk through our wardrobe to get to our ensuite. So I saw it all the time, but I just didn't have the time or like the mental energy to go and reorganize it. So I'm so happy that I did. And I also jumped in and made sure that I cleaned things properly as well. I've always loved taking these little removable 3M hooks and displaying my hats on them. It's something that I've done for years in every apartment that I've lived in. I just think it's a neat little feature. It stops the hats from getting wrecked and I've got my bags hanging up on a little coat rack as well so the handles don't get out of shape. Look at this, it's slipper section only. The shoes are back where they belong. The out of season clothes are in their container, spare bed sheets are up there. The reason that I'm putting them out in the open because we change bed sheets twice a week because um, I'm bad at discipline. The dogs sleep in the bed, what can I say? So now we have my activewear up there, Mitch's activewear here. We've got our shopping bags, Mitch's shoes down the bottom as well, the ones that didn't fit on our shoe rack near the front door. So you've got Mitch's pants in here, and then my overalls and pants in here. These are my shirts, like my vintage tees and just some other cotton tees. Then we have Mitch's tees and then, you know, the socks jock sort of combo at the top. I feel so much happier with how this area looks now. It really just needed to be reorganized. And I think even in the process of doing that, it helps you declutter your mind at the same time because you have to be so present and focused on the task at hand. And now I know I get lots of questions about where particular items are from. So like half my stuff is vintage um, because I like to just be a bit more sustainable with the choices. And then some of the other stuff is new. So whatever is new, I have linked on my blog. So this is my personal journal, if you haven't seen that before. And I use Squarespace to host it. So you can see my fashion favorites page on there and everything is linked. And I absolutely love using Squarespace for this. So I've made a little scrapbook page with the things which are currently in my wardrobe. And I've been using Squarespace for this blog. And previously before that, I've been using it for Eat, Run, Live for the last nearly six years. It's super easy to use. You can drag and drop things. They've got pre-set up templates that you can get started with. And you do not have to be any kind of coding genius to make it work and look exactly how you want it for your branding. So if you've considered starting a blog or you need a website for something or you're looking at setting up e-commerce, check out Squarespace because they've got brilliant integrations such as social media, emails, scheduling, everything to make it easier to run your business. And if you use the URL on your screen, squarespace.com slash Rachel Ost, it will give you a 10% discount off your first purchase. Now I can easily find my activewear and I'm going to get ready and do a workout. I hope you're well and I hope you're taking some time to look after yourself. It's so important to step back and do that sometimes, I think. If you want to hang around on my channel a little bit longer, check out another video. Hit subscribe if you want to come back and see more when I upload next and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.